Hi everybody! Welcome to Vinz's video series, Life of a Tree. My name is Marie, I'm one of the educators, and today I'm going to be going out with all of you and looking at fallen logs and discovering the life that lives in, on, under, and around these logs. So let's go, let's have some fun and see what we can find. I came across my first fallen log and I want to check this one out because it's got this nice shelf fungus growing off of it. This fungus is growing and working to help decompose this whole log and you can see it's got some really pretty moss growing on it and all over the tree really and the moss helps to keep it moist which makes it a suitable habitat for a lot of other organisms. So this log is pretty big so I can't really move it but there's some things around it which I will check under. Oh, we have something here. Looks like that is an egg sack of sorts. I assume it's from a spider because it's covered in a web. So I'm going to draw that really quickly in my nature journal. I'm going to put it back just where I found it. Try not to disturb it too much. And then I'm going to go back inside, look at my drawing, and try to identify it. You can see here too, we've got some fungus breaking through the bark here. Beautiful, beautiful fallen log. So let's go on and see what else we can find. I just found this salamander underneath the log, which is a really, really neat find. Um, so salamanders like to hang out underneath logs because it's nice and it's moist down there. So it's a good reprieve for them. I'm going to go ahead and cover it back up very gently right where I found it. Give it the leaf litter back because um, they need these logs to live under while um, it's still, they're still waiting to get to water. So hopefully on a nice warmish wet night, the salamander is going to migrate to a nearby pool, which is really awesome. I'm really happy we found that. Ooh, ooh, all right, look at this. Huh, now that is something right there. It kind of looks like another larva, but if you guys have jars or things like that that you can bring out with you, oh look, here's another one. That would be a great way to collect these and then bring them back to where you found them. There's a spider in here too. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Right there. Um... And then you can bring it home, but just try and remember where you found it because you do want to return these creatures to where they are. So we got some worms. Ooh, they're really moving. This is a great log. We also have some new growth under here because all of these funguses, all of these creatures are working again to decompose this log and they're recycling all of these nutrients so that's why this is such a great spot for all of these creatures we also have a casing right here of some other bug looks like a shell or something like that that hatched so you can see all the white stuff that's fungus we have here some ferns that are starting to grow underneath this log how cool is that look at and this little larva is underneath this root that's sprouting. Oh, it's so awesome. All right, I'm gonna return this log back to where I found it. Just lifted up, just lifted up a log here and found a big old slug. There's actually two of them. Another one right there. Oh, and look, cool. Right next to it, let's see, right? there right there it looks like we have a millipede see all the legs it has so millipedes 
Their bodies are broken up into segments. And a millipede has two legs per segment, whereas a centipede only has one leg per segment. So that's a way you can tell them apart. So I also want to point out all these orange spores right here. That fungus growing, breaking down the wood. You can see it's also on the underside of our log here. We also have a fiddlehead coming out. So why do you guys think that there's so much growth underneath here? There's some more growth right here. What do you think? Has to do with all the nutrients that these decomposers are returning to the environment. This concludes our video investigation on the fallen logs and the life of a tree series. I hope you all enjoy it. I hope you go out and you explore these micro habitats that these fallen logs have to offer. Uh, again, you can bring identification guides, you can bring bug boxes um, to help you get a better look at the creatures that you're trying to identify. Uh, but just please be gentle with them and remember to return them back to where you found them, of course. And this video series, Life of a Tree, will continue throughout the week. On Wednesday, you can join one of our environmental educators with one of our raptor ambassadors and learn about cavity nesting raptors. And then on Friday, you can join Sarah Strew for our campfire stories. I hope you all have a fantastic week. Stay healthy, stay safe, have fun, and continue to learn and explore. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.